This is Hub City Insider with Wayne Risher. It's crunch time for 300,000 FedEx workers worldwide. Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and winter are bearing down on them. FedEx predicts it will move a record 317 million shipments between Black Friday and Christmas Eve. That means the pressure is on to deliver, but particularly for 15 meteorologists in the company's hometown of Memphis, Tennessee. Meteorology manager Corey Gimpler and his staff provide the forecasts that help dispatchers guide the movements of 650 planes and more than 49,000 delivery vehicles worldwide. A package delivered in December is just as important as a package being delivered in June, but we realize that in December uh, there's a lot more uh, volume going through the system. There's a lot more focus and priority on those packages going to little people. So um, that's really where we're, we're under the microscope the most. But you know, bad weather happens year-round, every place around the world. So whether it's a hurricane, uh, we're called on for expertise, uh, or if it's a tornado outbreak. FedEx's only meteorologists are in Memphis. From the FedEx Express Global Operations Center, they write forecasts for 43 U.S. cities and have the last word to override forecasts anywhere else in the world except China. And we're just sort of like kind of weather watchdogs. We're, we're looking out for troubles anywhere in the country in the world where weather could slow us down. And we give that information to them, the dispatchers, the GOC group, so they can work around the weather and manage the weather. Gimpler said he expects Memphis to be stuck in the middle as usual, in this El Nino year. Historically, it's been, uh, it means, El Nino means uh, high risk for heavy snows in parts of the Mid-Atlantic and Northeast. So basically the storm track is from California down through Texas, Florida, and then right up the coast. Not all the storms will follow that, but that's kind of the high risk for storms. And Memphis is sort of on the northern edge of that.